Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video today, guys. We're going to be looking at the Vigabolt deck here once again. Uh, this is a deck that have, uh, has gotten a lot of requests on my channel uh, recently for me to cover again. And I've decided to do it because people want to see it again. Now, this is the build that I'm working with here. Uh, the deck did gain a few cool cards from uh, Sword and Shield. The one big one I think is going to be Evolution Incense, which allows you to search your Charger Bugs for free. Um, I am still using the Roxy Weezing combo. It's really good to have that. It allows you to draw into a big hand, which can set up your rare candy Vika Volt, so you can also get some extra damage on board. Electro Cannon does 220 damage if you discard a Lightning Energy on it, and it can work with Weezing and Electro Power. It's pretty easy to one-shot on most tag team Pokemon. Um, and of course, we have Charge Bug's Ability Battery, which allows us to put two Light Energies on our Vika Volt to power it up, so that's kind of the whole strategy there, and we use stuff like Lure Ball. Um, so this is the list that I've gone with here. So before we get the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Cardcraft and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, guys, get them over at Cardcraft and TCG. You get your PDC Joe, um, you can get Sword Shield codes there. You can get them singly, lots of 50, or you can get Sword Shield codes in lots of 100. Cardcraft and also buys, sells, and trades PDC Geo codes too, guys. So if you're interested in doing any of that, you can. You can trade and sell your PDC Joe codes over to Cardcraft and 2. So all that good stuff can happen over there. Of course, they have all the other pack codes there and all the other codes for any other things like any sleeves, GX codes, V codes. Get them over at Cardcraft and TCG. If you get anything from there, guys, use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel. Support Cardcraft and TCG. Help yourself out. So shout out to Cardcraft and TCG, guys. You can get them over there. You can also check out the articles I posted over there too. And all that good stuff. And of course, you can buy, sell, and trade Peace Joe codes. So let's take a look at the list here. So yeah, this is my Vigable list. Um, not much is really like changed, I think, from like the original list, I would say. I mean, again, Evolution Incense is a great upgrade to the deck. It allows you to easily search out Weezing and Charger Bug. Uh, one of the issues with Vigable in the past was lack of good search for Charger Bug. Well, now we have Evolution Incense. So for other things in the deck, I am using Jirachi to set up. I have Muta Protector Bench. I am playing Oracorio GX. It's a really good card in here. Allowing you to just draw three cards. Just being able to draw cards is really good. Sometimes you need to dig. Um, it's, this deck kind of reminds me of Cephalon a little bit because you're constantly having to put stuff in your hand to attach, right? For example, Charger Bugs. You know, when you discard them, you have to play stuff like Lure Ball to get them back. And Oracorio kind of gets you there um, a little bit faster. So that's kind of why it's in the deck. And of course, we have the Weezing Roxy combo. Uh, we're going with the items now. Um... I play four Electro Powers, very good card. Again, that 30 damage goes a long way. Doing 250 damage with Electro Cannon with the Weezing and Roxy and stuff, that's like 270 in total sometimes. Um, we got four Evolution Incense, another very good card in here. You could try out playing Great Ball in this deck too. I couldn't find room for any Great Balls, but I actually think Great Ball could be another, no pun intended, great card to put in this deck. Uh, I am playing one Great Catcher uh, for Gus. Four Lore Balls, again, very important card. Getting back Weezing to Roxy and get it back your Charger Bugs to reuse battery so you can reuse Electro Cannon. I am also playing one Ornery Rod. Now, I've seen people try out multiple Ornery Rods in these decks um, just because it gets you back your attackers and you can also get back Charger Bugs in the deck, put them back in your deck and then draw into them. I personally, I'm fine with just playing one. I really like just relying on Lure Ball. It's fine. This deck is mainly mil built for slaying tag teams. This deck, I don't really think can fare too well against some other decks that don't use tag team Pokemon. This deck is more geared towards beating tag team decks per se, but it's up to you if you want to go, you know, the route of using tag teams. <laughs> this deck is slay tag team, right? If you want to go the route of just slaying tag team, you can. If you want to build this deck more for general anything, you can, but this deck can struggle against other non-GX decks. That's why it's like, I'm fine with Lure Ball. Like, you just need to knock out two tag teams to win the game a lot of the time. Um, got four candies to go into your Vika Volt, obviously. We don't want to use Charger Bug with Vika Volt. I am playing a Reset Stamp to slice, try to slow the opponent down to switch. Um, two Shrine of Punishment as my Stadium of Choice. You don't really even need a Stadium in here, but the Shrine, again, just ticks away with uh, Weezing and stuff. It's really good. Uh, I am playing two Cynthia and two Research as late game supporters. Again, Roxy's our main... That's not Roxy, lol. Roxy is our main supporter in the deck, of course, allowing you to discard your Pokemon. But I still like having Research and Cynthia because... Just playing Roxy, sometimes you don't always find it, right? And, and then you, you're clunked up. Or sometimes you have Roxy, but you have no Pokemon in your hand to discard. So instead, you could just play a Cynthia or Research. I am playing a Kaelin Cynthia, just a nice card to get back Roxy. to a Skateboard. That's about it for the uh, deck here. This is my Vigable list. I am liking this list quite a bit. I think this deck is strong. Again, it's built towards beating tag team decks. It's a tag team slayer. That's what it's all about. Let's go try it out. All right, guys, let's get into our first game with the Vigable deck here. We're up against a small child. I mean, I think the name says it all. Uh, we'll see what they're playing here. We do go first. Uh, yeah, we'll go first. Why not? It's not going to kill us. We are playing a stage two decks. I'm going first. Probably recommended. And we do have Rick Candy Vika Volt. Our hand is not that good, per se, but we'll see what Stellar Wish can get us. Stellar Wish could get us into a good hand, possibly. We'll see. If we can get a 
scrubbing down here, we will guarantee the rare candy Vigable for next turn. We'll see what they're playing here. Oh, well, they're playing a Mewtwo deck with Zacian V. Okay. Um. So let's play this. I'm going to get a uh, Weezing out of the deck in case we have to do Roxy here. Which we do have all of our supporters except for one Cynthia. Let's go Stellar Wish. Yeah, we don't get a Grubbin. We do have a Roxy here. I don't know what kind of Mewtwo deck they're playing, so I'm just going to pass. I don't feel like they're playing Welder Mewtwo because why would they play Zacian? So I'm assuming they don't play Welder. We could get knocked out though if they're playing a Henry Brand deck. And they could like get rid of Eradicate here. But I don't really think that's what they're playing. Ah, uh, we'll see. As long as Drachi survives, which I feel like it will. Like I don't think Drachi can get KO'd here. And the next turn we can Roxy here. And then we can hopefully draw into a couple Grubbins, because we have to we have two rare candies in our hand. Everything is kind of set up in our favor, I feel like. We just need to draw good. We just have to draw good, all right. So it looks like it might be the Henry Brian deck after all. Um, I don't know what the Zacian's for. Ooh, a Fion goes down. We might need to get another uh, thing, but it looks like just a weak energy going on, which actually doesn't even let them do Soul Burst if they wanted to. And they play a Caitlyn Cynthia for their support for a turn. Not great for them. Kind of wish I played Mimikyu in here, honestly. Because then they wouldn't even have access to Snivysaur or any of their Mewtwo's. Kind of regret not putting that in, but a little too late now. Uh, let's see, we draw. We drew a Cynthia. All right, we're going to go for Roxy. We're going to have to get rid of a Charger Bug and a Weezing, which is fine. We have our thing. Oh, we still didn't get any access to Grubbin. Bruh. It's kind of annoying. Stellar Wish. Still no way to find Grub in here, guys. Not very good. Not good at all. We have to bench our Corio to survive the turn, unfortunately. We're just going to pass. They're probably going to play Fion here. Or Corio could still live the turn, though, which is good. I actually don't even think they can knock out Or Corio because they have a weak energy on. Well, no, they could go Vileplume, maybe. No, but Vileplume only do 160 damage because they have a damage counter on them. Okay, so maybe we actually could live. It's kind of annoying though. We haven't found a single Grubbin yet. We played a Roxy and stuff. Oh my gosh! Can we get one next? If we don't get a, if we don't get Grubbin next turn, I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. We'll see what my opponent decides to do here. I mean, they do have a big hand thanks to that Zacian, but. We'll see if they have any Pokemon here to attack with. I mean, this matchup should be straightforward. Vigavolt can do a lot of damage. Vigavolt fairly easily can one-shot Mewtwo. Um, this matchup shouldn't be that bad. Okay, there's the Aurora Energy, and again, it'll get discarded. As long as we don't see a Vile Plume get discarded, I'll be happy. Because again, I don't, I don't really think they can knock me out here. They could Fion force this in the active, but what can they attack me with? Okay, they can use Outrage. That's not going to do much. They can't do Alter Creation. Well, they can do Alter Creation, but they can't get the full effect of taking the extra prize and do the 30 damage because they have a weak energy on. So that's pretty good. It would be actually pretty bad if they did get the full effect of Alter Creation. It would just make it harder to kind of win because we'd have to speed up our process of <laughs> getting things going. Um, we'll see. If they're going to Whirlpool Suction, I mean, that's fine. I have the Escape Board. Unless we get reset stamped. I mean, our hand is pretty freaking massive. So there is a chance they might stamp me here just to try to, like, resist my hand. I I didn't want to bench this because I actually wanted to use Oracorio in this matchup. But we'll see if it gets knocked out. Um, oh, they have a research. Not good. Oh, but they don't get rid of that much. I actually get rid of three extra energy, which is pretty good. And only an ADP and a catcher gets discarded. Ooh. Well, rip our Shrine of Punishment. Are you serious? They play Absol to... Oh my god, of course they play Absol. There's the Vile Plume. They actually can't KO me though, because they have 10 damage on them though, which is kind of good. Do they even have a card to discard for the Plume? No, just an Intrepid Sword. Okay, we can get another uh, Roxy off here. It's again very frustrating that they play Absol. There's a Mew, I'm gonna bench that. Let's go Roxy here. Once again, 
Going double wheezing. If we don't get a grub in here, I give up. Okay, we didn't get a grub in. We did get a quick ball though, which makes up for it. We get a lot of damage on board. There's no room for a DDV, which is also kind of nice. We found a switch too, which is good. My issue is, is they could still easily knock out a Grubbin. We prized the Grubbin. That's probably why we can't find it. Derp. Okay, let's switch into Drachi. Stellar Wish. Another Quick Ball. Nice. Okay. What am I getting rid of here? Let me get an Evolution Incense. Just because we have the Lure Ball, so I'm feeling kind of safe. We could get another Jirachi. We're definitely just going to double down on our Grubbin, though. I'm trying to think of what else I want to do. Probably nothing. I guess we should have played the escape board just to burn it. I mean, we could get Marnied here. I don't like, well, they're not even playing a list that's similar to Henry Branch. They have all these random techs in here like Absol, Catchers, this thing. So I don't even know if I want to risk it. They might have some weird, crazy tech to knock me out. We'll find out though. Or like a Marnie, a reset stamp. Let's see what they do here though. They can knock out Jirachi with Vile Plume. They could catch her one of the Grubbins up. I mean, ideally, we don't want Grubbin to get KO'd here. So we'll have to see. Our goal is literally just knock out Mewtwo, knock out Mewtwo. That should not be too hard to do. That really shouldn't. They actually put another energy on, which I don't agree with because we're going to be knocking them out here most likely. Unless they put my hand down really low and we don't grind. We still have our though to work with, so even then, like, it's not too bad. Ooh, Marcus Duo. Okay, fair play. We can still try to do a double wheezing spread. Oh wait, they didn't even have the. Oh. <laughs> they didn't even have enough energy to do it effectively. Wow, and we just drew a Vega Volt. I was about to say because we probably need another Vega Volt here. Okay. I don't even feel bad for my opponent, obviously, because that's actually hilarious. Um. Okay, we got to do this in order. We need to do a Roxy this turn. Let's do this to get a Charger Bug first. Before we do Oracorio. Now we'll do Oracorio. Try to get on the maybe our last grub in here. There we go. And we got the electro power. Okay, that's good. Uh, actually we, mm, we don't need it because we'll knock it out with Roxy. We can save the electro power. Okay. This has to be sequenced properly. Double heads. Let's go. We get Weezing, Charger Bug. Battery this. We can Roxy for three. Which I think I... Okay, we'll do this. We'll get rid of the escape board. Uh, we'll discard one Jirachi here. Because I don't think we need Jirachi anymore because the Absol's in play. We'll burn the Jirachi. I want to draw six cards here. So let's just go get rid of Weezing. We're doing 220. Okay, nice. I like what I'm seeing. I guess we'll bench Jirachi, sure. I don't even think we're gonna get knocked out next turn. That's how like good of a spot we're in. Knock out the Mewtwo thanks to the Roxy Weezing. This is why I like Roxy Weezing Vigable. Knock out their Mewtwo. And all we gotta do now is knock out one more Mewtwo to win. I don't even know if I have a catcher in the deck though. That's my main issue right now though. There's a switch. That's a good card to see. Because they have Fiona in their hand. So they do Fion here. I think we'll just give them the Mew, obviously. We don't really need it. So Mew kind of acts as good cannon fodder here. Then we can bring a Jirachi. We can Stellar Wish, maybe. Yeah, this is good. As long as we just don't get a reset stamp, we should be fine. They actually bring in this thing, and there's the Indeedy V. They don't play or they don't actually do Fion though first. So that's good. They play a gra What is this Mewtwo dead? This isn't even Mew. That cheeses me. That cheeses me. Okay, well let's see what they bring in. I guess a Orcorio. Yeah, okay. We have Switch, so as long as we don't get stamped. But because they're not even playing a similar list to Henry Brands, I have a bad feeling they have Switch. Or they have some weird tech card. Like Marnie. Oh, just a Guzma Hala. Okay, so as long as they don't have a reset stamp in their hand, it looks like we're good. What did they get rid of there? Blastoise and... Yeah. So it looks like we are going to come out on top with a dub here, assuming we don't lose our hand size, and we just... Well, I guess we have to rely on Lure Ball getting heads, too. Okay, the air balloon could save them if there's a chance they don't stay they stay in the active though. 
We'll see. They air balloon. They're not even air ballooning their own Snivy Star. What are they doing? And that's game, it looks like, unless we uh, can't get another Charger Bug here. They are... I don't really know what they were doing there. Okay, how am I doing this? How am I doing this? Okay, we can't do Jirachi. We have to go into... Let's just do this and just get this out of the way. Just get this out of the way. You gotta be kidding me. We actually got... Bruh, what do you mean? What do you mean? We actually got Tails. We do have the other... We have a lot of outs here to hitting this. I actually, um... Feel confident. We're gonna research. We have a lot of outs to find in this last Charger Bug. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and that's gonna be game. Um, I mean, this matchup honestly isn't even terrible. They aren't like the speediest Mewtwo deck, you know what I mean? So, if you can set up quick enough, which we kinda did, um, you should be able to run them over pretty easily. Mewtwo and stuff, they're in range of Vigavolt's damage cap, you know, 220. It's not too hard to knock out a Mewtwo thanks to Roxy and Electro Power. That is that. My opponent, I don't really think, played that well. Or, well, I mean, their, their list had a lot of weird tech cards. The Absol caught me off guard. Um, that wasn't terrible, though. Okay, guys, here we go again again to another game with a Vigavolt deck here. Up against Rusu, Rusana, Rusuna. Looks like they're playing another Mewtwo deck, possibly. So this could be another... Mewtwo deck we're up against. I think I'm still gonna go first, no matter what. Unless, like, I don't know. Don't know. Oh, no, we're revealing what we're playing. Uh, this hand wouldn't be bad if we had a basic start alongside a Roxy. Um, so I have to see here what we're up against. We could be against Malamar, which, depending on how that goes, that could be pretty bad. I'm not sure how I feel about Malamar matchup. Okay. We got a Jirachi start. Yep. So we don't have any other Pokemon. That's fine, though. I mean, we could still wish into an Evolution Incense. Like the last game, we don't really care if we discard Jirachi. And okay, we do draw an Evolution Incense. Can we get a Quick Ball? Yes, we do. Looks like we are up against a Mewtwo deck. This is a tough decision. I think we're going to get rid of Electro Power. We can we can live. Which price another Grub in two, like last game. We, we also have a Vigable Prize. We do have all our Charger Bugs, though. Weezing's there, too. That's good. We'll just pass. So next turn, we do have the turn two Roxy. We'll see where that takes us. We'll see what they're playing. It's probably a Mewtwo deck. It's got to be a Mewtwo deck. It could be something else, but probably not. Probably not. Hmm. I wonder if this guy would be good in Malamar. Just Puffy Smashers. Because this is technically a spread attack. Is it snipes something? But this thing is pretty easy to knock out, though, too, thanks to, like, Shrine and Roxy. I wouldn't mind having a Shrine in play soon. So, yeah, there's a Quick Ball. They get rid of a Switch, which is a pretty big discard. Maybe it is a Malamar deck, but as long as they have two tag teams in play, that's all that really matters, because we just need to take out two tag teams to win the game. We'll see if they bench it. it looks like they are just playing a Mewtwo deck. Yeah, they're going to get their Gengar. They're probably going to get a Mewtwo here. We get back-to-back -back Mewtwo games, which is pretty good. We'll see if we can beat this one. I'm assuming this deck is going to be a little bit better than... Oh, they don't get a Mewtwo. It's still, it looks like it's a Psychic Mewtwo deck. That may be playing Marnie then. That's actually pretty bad. I think out of all the Mewtwo matchups, the one that has Marnie and stuff in Nightwalk probably would be your worst matchup then, for sure. Okay, they have two tag teams in play. They actually switch into the Mewtwo, which is actually kind of daring. And they lose a Malamar. Yeah, I'm a little scared of Trevnoir, not gonna lie. That's the one card that kind of scares me right now. They're probably gonna get Trevnoir here or another Inkay. We'll see if it's going to be one of the other. Yeah, okay. See, this is kind of where I wish I had Mimikyu, because, like, if we had Mimikyu, we could just put that down and then, like, force them to find their uh, their thing, you know? The Stealthy Hood. And actually, Horror House me. That's kind of annoying. That means Jirachi's probably going to get knocked out here. As long as we just don't get Marnie, I'm actually fine with this. We could probably attack. We could probably knock them out next turn, actually. If we can. If all goes well, we probably can KO them here. We'll see. As long as they don't get rid of my hand, I should be fine. They have four cards. Let's see if they have a Marnie. I mean, if they do knock me out and they Marnie me, which they aren't doing. Okay, good. Oh, they don't lose any reset stamps. That's also what I was hoping to see get discarded there was more resets. So that's how I feel like we're going to lose the game is we're going to just lose our hand size. And there's no way we're going to be able to come back from that. 
another Mewtwo. They're not getting any more Malamars, which is good. Or any other Mewtwo's, which is good. So that means they might not even be able to respond to that attack after we kill them. Cherish Ball. That probably will either get a Mewtwo or Trevnoir. Trevnoir GX, whatever you want to call it. Whatever. You cannot talk today. Whatever you want to call it. Zigzagoon's interesting, but it probably won't matter too much. I'd rather the, the Dark be in their deck, the Dark type be in their deck as Zigzagoon than in Avsol again, like the last game. Ooh, a Tina Chomp. Okay. Let's see if they bench that. No. Nope. They could Lanier attack my Grubbin. I don't really care if they do that, though. I'd actually prefer that because then we get another turn of Stellar Wish. And we can just, you know, find Mew. There's the other Mewtwo. So we can spread to hit that Mewtwo. The problem is they're going to be able to put energy on that Mewtwo and have a response to our Vika Bolt. So this could be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. This could be tricky. If they weren't KOing me here, that'd be good. They don't have their GX attack anymore, which I guess is sort of relevant. They can't do Maracas do or anything. 330 damage. Jeez, go easy on my boy Jirachi. Okay. This has to be a really good turn for us. Okay, Shrine's a good start, I guess. Alright. I think we have to go double wheezing here. Oh, no, we don't, because the Shrine's in play, right? That could be our extra 10 damage. So we can get Vigavolt with this. We need to get a lot here, though, to guarantee we don't lose, which is kind of the issue. I mean, I've already committed to it, so we have to go for it. This has to be a really good Roxy. No. We didn't get any more basics. So that's a game, then. Dang, dude, we didn't get another basic. There's nothing I can do either to prevent me from losing next turn, I don't think. The only way is like, I could great catch her this Mewtwo. The only way I can maybe see myself winning is playing it, but then they just have this, like it doesn't even matter. So we just lose here. We didn't get any other basics or anything. Damn, that's disappointing. Like, I guess we can we can do Great Catcher. The only way I can win this is play around the Poltergeist, but they have Calamitous Slash. So that doesn't even matter, because then they just Calamitous Slash knock me out. Right, so like, there's really nothing I can do. Even if I play around the Poltergeist, we're taking three prizes. We're probably going to draw more trainers anyways. So it doesn't even matter what I do here, right? I mean, I could... I, I guess we can try it. We have to try to figure out a way to survive the turn. I guess this is, like, my only good way to do it. We have to just burn all the trainers in our hand and hope for the best. I know we have a Vigable and the Grubbin prize, so we could get those with the prizes. We pretty much have to pray they don't have a Poltergeist combo knockout. That's the only way I can try to think of how I can survive the turn. That's a trainer. That's also a trainer. That's a knockout. That's game. Rip. Rip, bro. See, though, we slay tag teams so easily. But we were unable to get another basic to survive the turn. And this, this game was really winnable. We just got really unlucky. That's hella annoying. But it is what it is. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to get into a third game of the deck. Very a disappointing loss there. Uh, Vigable, once again, just proving that it just does not, doesn't, you know, just, boop. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but it just takes out tag teams. But that's very annoying that we didn't get a basic there. Really wanted to win that game, too. We get another grub and start. This hand's a lot better, though. Well, a lot better. It's actually a fine hand. We'll see what we're up against here. I wasn't really paying attention to the types, so we'll see. It's a fire deck with Blaze Quinn. Wait, what? Blaine's Last Stand, or whatever that card's called. I have never seen that card used before. That is very interesting. That's fine, though. We'll uh, see what kind of deck this is. We'll see. Draw an extra card. Blur Ball. Okay. 
Okay, we'll do this. Might just have to get another grubbin. We're probably just gonna research next turn, so we're just getting another grubbin down. It's gonna pass. I hope our grubbin can live, we'll see. They probably just hot burn me here. They don't really care for their GX tech either, so they can just easily hot burn knock me out. If they have a welder. No, Blaine's last stand. What does that even do? Doesn't it like do something if you have it's not like similar to like Archie's or something? I cannot remember what that card does. What does it do? You can place card only if you have his last card in your hand. Draw two cards for your fire Pokemon and play. Okay, so I guess you draw up to 12 cards if you have 12 or 6 fire Pokemon in play. The Dandy's not going to let them get there, though. If there's the energy. So I can just hop burn knock me out, unfortunately, because we are weak to fire. <laughs> two Switch are gone. That's actually not bad. Another Blaine's goes. The Ditto, a Blacephalon. Wait, what? Victini V? What's going on here? What kind of... I guess it's Firebox with Blaine. Well, Cephalon's kind of weird. So I guess our game plan is going to be try to go through three GXs. Unless they bench a Rushy's are. But even if they do that, we still have to take a lot of prizes. And there's the Hot Burn. So they don't have Burst anymore. Which is fine. Let's see if we draw anything good. Okay. That can get us a Charger Bug. I was like, that would be perfect. If we didn't get knocked out, we would have had a double Vega Volt. So that kind of stings. That we are losing this, but that's fine. We'll do this. We'll do this. Are we seriously gonna get triple tails though? No, okay. <laughs> Double heads when we only have one boy in the discard. We'll research here, see if we can get Oracorio. There we go, nice, nice, nice. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. How much are we doing here? 150. 160. Okay, we're gonna have to discard our Oracorios. I don't want to do it, but we gotta do it anyways because we need to knock this thing out. Nice, we'll take our prizes. There we go. Nice Charger Bug prize. Another Vega Ball. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good hand. Really good hand, actually. Uh, unless they, uh, Marnie or Reset Stammy. It was a really good hand. Uh, that ditto might turn to a Ninetales though, which could be annoying. I don't want to record to get knocked out, but that's all good. We'll see if we can win this. We are technically down one rare candy, so we only have three Vega Volts to work with. But as long as we just Vega Volt take two prizes each, we should be fine. Ooh, they might Bursting Burn me, which I'm fine with because we have Switch in our hand. We can just switch any other Vega Volt here. If we lose our hand though, I'm going to cry because this is a very, very good hand. Oh, this is a very, very good hand. There's a quick ball. Let's see if they get a Dedenne. Let's see it. So they're probably going to Bursting Burn me. They, I guess they could Mind Blow me if they had a Welder here with two energies. Obviously, they could do that. Actually, what is funny, we don't have to get rid of the Charger Bugs next turn. If, if they don't knock me out, we don't have to get rid of any Charger Bugs if the Shine sticks. They get a Rushy Ram GX. Seen it all. I forgot about this card. Vermilion, I remember when Vermilion got so much hype when it came out. Oh, there's their second Adene. Unless they get like a Rushy's art or something. Okay, that's gonna turn into a Macargo apparently. But they research it away. Okay. What is that? Ninetales? Yep, there it is. What could they bring out though? Ooh, big charm. Okay, that doesn't matter, obviously. We can still KO them. What will they big charm out? Let's see. Or not big charm, nine tails out. Okay, there's gonna bursting burn me, which is fine. Of course, we can just switch into the other people. And all we have to do is make sure we don't miss our other grubbin. So let's do this in order. It's rare candy and a Vega Volt. Let's do the Roxy first. Just in case. Oh, we didn't get the Grubbin. We didn't get a Lure Ball either. Damn, big rip. Big rip right there. Big F in the chat. They don't have a big hand, so I feel safe. We're going to switch into Jirachi, I think.
Let's go Stellar Wish. There's the incense. I think we'll definitely take it. I might burn an Electro Power here because I feel like we don't need them anymore. So I'm going to just play one. I could order a Rod. I'm thinking about... I'm thinking. I'm thinking about doing that. Maybe put back Weezing and Charger Bug here. Yeah, let's do it. Could also get back the Grubbin too. Which we might need to do. Okay, let's get back Grubbin and Charger Bug. We're just going to pass for now, unfortunately. We just didn't get a uh, thing there. They need... They need... Four energy to knock me out. They have six cars in their hand. Well, they need four. No, I mean, they need four energy to gust out the vehicle knock it out is what I'm trying to say. The Oracorio does have a target on his head, too. And I don't want to lose my Oracorio. Maybe we should have saved the Ornay Rod to get Oracorio back, but I guess I never want to lose it. That really sucks that that Roxy didn't get us what we needed, though. How much HP do they have? 160. So we could knock them out without having to discard any uh, Grubbins or Treasure Bugs this time. We'll see if they go for Bursting Burner or not. I'm probably just going to end up synthing my hand here. And then praying we get a switching card. But I want them to knock me out so we can play Oracorio's Dance of Ancients. Or Dance of Tribute, whatever it's called. Gotta love my coffee. So yeah, they have five cards. They need four energy to gust up a Vigavolt here and knock me out. I guess they could bring in this, but they still need five cards. They need like a Welder or something in like Nine Temptations. We actually probably need to bump that. Oh, just a mind blown. All right. We're going to get a KO here. Which is really good. Let's see. We draw. Reset stamp. Okay, we'll do this. Whoops. Wrong card. Wrong card. <laughs> uh, let's battery. Battery again. Stamp them. Just gonna try to burn a few cards here. How many electric powers have we played? One. Okay, we can play one more because I don't think we need that many electric powers. We'll Cynthia and then we'll do Dance of the Ancients. Or Dance of Tribute, whatever it's called. I'm gonna call it that because I can't. And there's another thing. We'll do this. We got the shine perfect. Now that we don't have to worry about that giant hearth being in play. Our hand is really, really good. We could play the quick ball. I don't think I'm going to though. I think I'm just gonna go for the knockout here. Oh, I didn't have to get rid of any uh, Charger Bugs. Is that a misplay? Not really, because we'll still be... I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. As long as we just get stamped the two, we should be fine. We shouldn't have gotten rid of those Charger Bugs, though, because I forgot, I forgot we had the Shrine, so we were going to be knocking them out because we played the Electro Power. I'm not even mad. We have three Lure Balls in our hand. We'll be fine. Unless we get Nine Tails, we should be fine. So I don't even care. Uh, what could this do? Okay, it can't burn me or anything. As long as we just can't like get confused or something, I guess. Oh, I should have kept the charge of bugs. I stamped them, of course, into a reset stamp. We did get a Roxy though, which can draw us at least three cards. If only I didn't, why did I, oh man, now I'm actually cheesed I lost those charge of bugs. Oh, and I stamped them into a Welder 2 energy, I think too. No, nope, maybe not. Let's see if they go to Dene here. That, oh, why, of course, why did I stamp into a stamp, bro? Are you kidding me? We still have Oracorio. We still have a Jirachi. I'm not worried right now, obviously. We're st we can still win this pretty easily, but I should have kept those. I didn't expect the stamp. That's my bad. I should have kept the Charger Bugs on. Can't do anything about it now. We're just going to have to, we're going to have to deal with it. And they switch into Ninetales? Wait, what are they doing? I do not think they meant to do that. I, ugh, I don't think they meant to do, I cannot talk to, I don't think they meant to do that. Okay, let's Caitlyn Cynthia away a Roxy. Take it back a research. There's an escape board. Put that there. What else am I doing? Uh, we'll bench another. Bench this. And we'll pass. Next turn, we can win if we can hit a lure ball, lure ball, and a great catcher. So I guess we wouldn't have won if we didn't um, get rid of the Charger Bugs. Because we still have the dig for that uh, Great Catcher. It's in the deck, right? Yeah, okay. 
I don't know why they didn't switch Andrachi. Their hand is literally a... a why they didn't switch Andrachi last turn is beyond me. <laughs> that was such a weird misplay. Uh, let's go research. We get the Wombo Combo. We do not. This might get us it if we can hit the Great Catcher. We don't. We get a Lure Ball. We'll take it. We'll pass. I'm assuming they don't have any more reset stamps. And I'm assuming they don't have it in their two-card hand unless I top deck it. And the next turn, we can go Lure Ball here. It should get us everything we need. We can Roxy. We could actually knock out to Dene probably with Mew if we really wanted to. Also, if the Shrine sticks around for a couple more turns. No, no, we can't use Mew, right? We don't have any energy. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. Let's see what they do here. Quick ball. They can get the Jirachi now. Don't know why they never switched into it when they have the opportunity to. That was weird. I I don't know if they know what they're doing, but whatever. A dub is a dub at the end of the day. All right, let's go Lure Ball. Let's see it. Double heads. Beautiful stuff. Uh, actually, I'm just going to be safe and take the two Church of Bugs. Sorry, Weezy. But uh, we're just going to get rid of Weezy Jirachi. I don't need those cards anymore. I'll keep the Mew just in case. There's a great catcher, and that will indeed be game against my opponent's weird firebox deck that didn't really, um, didn't really work. I don't know what to tell you. Let's bring in this big rat. And yeah, that's going to be game. And this is the Vigable deck in action, guys. I think I showed it off pretty well. Despite that Mewtwo game, the deck still flowed pretty well. We drew pretty well. The deck worked perfectly fine. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the Vigable video, guys, leave a like in the video. Subscribe down below to help me on the road to reaching 8,000 subscribers. You can also check out the Sponsor Card Cavern TCG down below, too, guys. If you get any peace joke codes there, use code DF. And of course, guys, over at Card Cavern TCG, you can buy, sell, and trade PDCGO codes and all that good stuff. So you can make some profit over there, too, and all that good stuff. But yeah, that'll be it for the video on the Vigable deck. I really enjoy this deck. It's fun to play. Um... Again, it just takes out 18 Pokemon like no tomorrow, and that is what it's all about. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Bye-bye.